Chinese New Year is the most important festival among Malaysian Chinese, celebrating the Lunar New Year. On the first day of Chinese New Year, the Chinese community will pray at temples to seek blessings from God for the upcoming New Year. At Penang, the temples can be seen crowded with Buddhists during the Chinese New Year especially the Kong Hok Kiong Temple, the oldest temple in Penang. More famously known as Kuan Yin Teng, the temple was built in the year 1800 by Hokkien and Cantonese immigrants in Malacca and Penang. The temple not only serves as a place of worship for Buddhists, but also serves as the main hall and office for settling disputes between different Chinese factions until 1881. Although experiencing several repairs and restorations, the overall infrastructure of Kuan Yin Teng still retained most of the initial building structure and design for over 200 years, making it to be listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. As usual, there are many deities worshipped in a Chinese temple. However, the main deity worshipped in Kuan Yin Teng is the Goddess of Mercy, known as Kuan Yin. Originated from India, the Buddhist god who symbolizes the teachings of compassion in Buddhism is named Avalokiteswara, who is portrayed as a male figure. As Buddhism spread to China, Avalokiteswara is worshipped as Kuan Yin, who somehow became a female figure portrayed in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean Buddhism. Kuan Yin has become one of the most common deity prayed by the Chinese community, as they believe Kuan Yin is compassionate to free devotees from suffering during their lifetime. During World War II, Malaya experienced the darkest period in its history, the invasion and ruling of the Japanese Empire. During that time, city buildings were greatly damaged or destroyed from airstrikes sparked by the Japanese and British Army, but not for Kuan Yin Teng Temple. Some elders say a bomb was thrown down a well at Kuan Yin Teng during airstrikes, but never exploded until now.
What's more surprising is that the two stone guardian lions at the temple's front doors seems to be alive as some citizens had seen the lions wandering around the city and finally came to an end at the year 1902 after the Jubilee Clock Tower was constructed. What is the explanation behind this strange phenomena in Kuan Yin Teng? Are they just a myth or actually real? It remains unknown and yet to be solved. Looking deep into the temple surroundings, we can find out some surprisingly rare culture happening around the corner. For example, the beggars scattered around the temple. These beggars are seeking donations from devout devotees as they are more willing to help them for the sake of God. As a well-known tourism destination, the beggars may affect the reputation and aesthetics of the temple, but the temple administrators have a different point of view regarding this. Normally, incense are usually provided by every temple for praying. People donate money for charitable purposes in exchange for the incense. But in contradiction, there are lots of souls besides Kuan Yin Teng selling incense and other religious goods to devotees of the temple for reasonable prices. Instead of getting it from the temple by donation, some devotees buy the incense, maybe because the religious goods sold are more diverse and well decorated. Religion is inseparable from humans for spiritual sustenance. As the oldest temple in Penang, Kuan Yin Teng remains the most visited place of worship, not only among locals but for people around the world. Indeed, it is the history, the myth, and kindness of humans that is the reason people keep returning to this historic landmark. <laughs>